Hello, Grade 7s. I'm going to talk to you today about the Treaty of Utrecht, and I'm going to go actually to um, your textbook, which you can find on Google Classroom. I'm just going to quickly show you where it is. This is a 7D. There's a section called Nelson History Textbook. It's Chapter 1, but I'm actually going to use my iPad to show you this. So just give me a second here. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. So here's a map you can see. Um, I'll zoom in here. So this is what North America looked like before the Treaty of Utrecht. And I'm going to tell you what all that, why they did the treaty in a few minutes. But just take a look at this map. This is what it looked like, and this is who owned what. So you can see that the British colonies, um, they owned pretty much um, the eastern United States today. Okay, let's... Um, Make it black. So there's the British. And then you can see France, which owned this orange area. And they called it New France. And they also owned an area called Acadia, which is present day Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Now, there were some disputed lands too Rupert's Land and Newfoundland as well. Okay. And also Spain, you can see, owned present-day Florida and a bit of Texas um, as well, and of course, Mexico further down. Anyways, uh, so this is what the map looked like before 1713, okay? I'm just going to go... So, after the Treaty of Utrecht, which is in 1713, the land looked different. But I'm just going to go a step back a step, a step or two um, and, and explain what was going on. So, uh, 1700, the King of Spain, his name, his name was Charles II, he died, and there was no heir, no one would to take over. So France decided to, to seize Spain and its territories, and it started a war called the War of the Spanish Succession. The United Kingdom, which you may not know, was actually formed in 19, or 1707 when England and Scotland united. And they um, fought against France um, with other European countries. Anyways, that war went on for a while, and it led to something called the Treaty of Utrecht, in 1713, okay? So after that, the map looked a little bit different. Okay, so you can see that um, British colonies are still here. Rupert's land, which was disputed, a disputed area. Remember the First Nations are, are all, all throughout here as well. New France is actually um, still here. But there is a disputed area here, and there's also a disputed area here. And one key difference that you'll see is um, that Nova Scotia, um, which used to be owned by the French, um, otherwise it was called Acadia, is now owned by Britain. Except this island here, that's present-day Cape Breton Island, and... Um, Prince Edward Island, you can see, is still owned by the, the French as well. Newfoundland, which was uh, disputed earlier, is now owned by Britain. Okay. So I'm just setting you, uh, giving you the back, background of um, what was going on and, and how the, the Treaty of Utrecht, which is basically a peace treaty for that big war I was telling you about, um, uh, how it affected the map. So we're going to talk a bit more about some other key groups in here. Um, and a lot of the, what happens uh, is, is a result of this treaty. Okay, I hope it makes more sense to you. If you have any questions, please let me know.